Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. Today I fucked up by saving a topless woman from drowning. So this happened yesterday. My family, wife, kids and in-laws, and I had just returned from a pontoon cruise for the evening. It was later than usual so I sent the wife up on the golf cart with the kids and in-laws to get them some dinner while I covered up the boat. About halfway through covering up the boat, I noticed someone halfway across the cove in the water all on their own and she appeared to maybe be in distress. She wasn't making progress swimming one way or the other and occasionally going underwater. There were people on the opposite shoreline yelling at her but I couldn't tell what they were saying. I yell asking if she needs help and she says yes. I call my wife and tell her to come down on the cart, someone is in the water and needs help, I'm going in. I might need help getting the person out. I put on a life jacket and grab the throw cushion from the boat. Swim out to the person and pass off the throw cushion. She appears out of breath. First thing she says to me is I'm topless. I responded with I'm okay, but are you okay? I also immediately think to myself. 1. My friends are never going to believe this. 2. What is my wife going to think with a topless woman swimming to shore with me? She then says she's running from her boyfriend who is messed up. She also asks if it's shallow enough to touch yet. It wasn't going to be. I help her to the dock where my wife meets us. She tells my wife I'm sorry but I don't have a shirt on. Again my wife just asks if she's okay and she tells us the boyfriend story again. Sure enough as she gets out of the water she is topless, but she is carrying a white t-shirt that she quickly throws on. She then immediately begins running to shore. At the same time we notice a pontoon cruising towards our dock yelling at us. At first I think this must be her boyfriend chasing her and we are in the middle of some domestic dispute. They quickly get closer and I realize it's two sheriff deputies who flagged a pontoon down to carry them across the lake. As they are jumping onto the dock we notice the girl had just jumped into our golf cart and was riding away on it. Apparently she was allegedly involved in a string of burglaries and the boyfriend she was running away from was the cops. I had unknowingly aided her swim across the lake to escape and she used our golf cart as getaway. The cops chased her for a while through the night tracking her down once more but she escaped again. We looked all day for the golf cart today with no luck. I notified insurance if the theft around lunch. About an hour ago someone notified us through social media that it was parked behind a house in a neighborhood over. So we recovered the cart and it seems okay. They put more warrants out for the suspect and are still looking for her. Too long didn't read, thought I was saving a topless woman in distress but unknowingly aided a crook in escaping the police. I was heading into a Circle K once and saw this guy struggling toward the door with two 30 packs of beer. So I opened the door and held it for him. Turns out he was stealing them. Was he topless too? I'd be telling that story for the rest of my life lol. Already imagining this dude sitting on a rocking chair at 60, six young kids surrounding him while he tells his heroic tale. I wish I had a golf cart. Half the internet has golf cart envy and the other half has sought its envy. You did not fuck up. That's a hell of a story you got now. Velp. You did the right thing thinking she was actually in distress. But man what a piece of work she is, embarrassed smiley face. I mean she was actually in distress, she just lied about why she was in distress. Today I fucked up by asking my parents when they fucked. No, not clickbait, this is word for word what happened. Obligatory didn't happen today, but I've never told anyone this story so I figured I should before I die. So when I was about 7, my parents took me and my little sister to the park, as parents do. Someone had graffitied the slide with the word fuck and being the curious kid I was, asked my dad what it meant. I hadn't had the birds and the bees talk yet, so my dad figured this was an appropriate time to do so. He goes through the basic idea, man puts pee pee in woman and she has a baby grow in her tummy. That's what the word meant. Too bad he forgot to tell me that it was a swear and not the proper term for the act. Fast forward to a few weeks later, my parents sat me down and revealed that my mom was going to have another baby. I was confused. Don't two people have to fuck to make a baby? 
I certainly never saw my parents do such a thing. So I had to ask, when did you fuck? Obviously my mother lost it and demanded I tell her who taught me that word. Whether it was one of the neighborhood kids or someone from school. Told her dad taught me. Needless to say, my dad probably didn't get another fuck for a while after that. Too long didn't read, dad told me what fuck meant but forgot to tell me I shouldn't say it. Ended up asking mom why I never saw them make a baby in the most inappropriate way possible. Lol I remember learning that fuck was a bad word when my family was sitting down to dinner when our grandma was over one night. My sister wanted to go through all the words that rhymed with duck starting from the beginning of the alphabet. Either of us knew the word was bad, and it's not like my parents didn't see it coming. So she says fuck and immediately my mom gets super pissed. Yells at her to go to her room. I'm older than her. But at the time I was also too young to understand. So I keep asking what did she say? Why did you get mad? Etc. And meanwhile my grandma is just laughing in her cute little old lady chuckles. My dad was just like, really? The kids don't know. At her come back for supper. Took me a long while afterwards to really know what that word meant lol. Edit, thank you for the awards. Very cool that this goofy story has gotten this much attention. I didn't want to take away from Op's story, but it's fun seeing how many people can relate lol. This is the best today I fucked up post I have seen in a really long time and Op didn't even F you. This is so innocently hilarious. I remember my parents telling me how babies are made. I kept saying very loudly that they had only had sex twice then, once for me and once for my brother. We were in public. Strangers were laughing. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, that is hilarious. To be honest I've never, ever mentioned it since. I'm not even sure if they remember. This. This is what I come to today I fucked up for. No needless wordplay with millions of really cutesy and stupid ways of saying I had sex with my boyfriend slash girlfriend. No ridiculous situation that may have happened but is so beyond believable. Totally relatable situation that I can see happening easily based upon parents slash kids relations. Nobody gets hurt in a dump prank. Everybody gets to laugh about it years later. You did actually fuck up, it wasn't your fault at all. But it wasn't some stupid situation like I just did exactly the same normal thing I did every day and had no control over the fact that something bad happened. If I had any sort of money I'd give you top awards. For now settle for 6 bullet points. Edit, I want to thank everyone for sending awards to op. I'm just going to pretend every single one of those wasted dollar was because of me. And none of you will convince me otherwise. Today I fucked up by thinking I was joking with my buddies, but instead forgot I was in the grocery store. Today I fucked up because I ran my mouth. This was not today, but last week. I had completely forgot it happened until I went out doing groceries with the wife and she reminded me to know my place. Last Sunday I went to do groceries. I always do them at 9am on Sunday, nice and quiet here. I buzzed around the store got everything I needed and proceeded to the checkout. All was well. 20 minutes, in and out. As I walked to the line up to wait for the cashiers to call me forward, I stopped behind a rather large lady. As I wait my turn to be called forward, a man comes out from behind a shelf with a couple items and steps in front of me. Just as I was about to say the line is behind me, he says I am with her, and puts the last of his shopping in the cart they have. Without even thinking, not even attempting to process where I am, or who is around, the words just come out of my mouth. Sorry about your luck. Yes. They came out with the happiest of tones. Like I was joking with the boys. But no, I said it to a stranger in the lineup. As it dawns on me what I just said, I tense up, preparing to get hit, like I also oh deserve. But no, he starts to howl. He's in tears over my comment. However, the lady was not. She reams me out, up one side, down the other. How dare you, you know nothing about me. Just because I'm overweight doesn't mean I'm a bad wife. So on and so forth. Just stood there, dumbfounded, not sure what to do. She then looks at her still laughing husband and says and what are you laughing over? 
We just finished with the marriage counseling and you find this funny. She walks out of the store in a huff, the man still laughing and everyone around starting at me. He gets called up and then I do and I proceed to pay and get out of there. He made it out before me and she was in the parking lot yelling about how they will be getting a divorce and how she can't be with someone that finds things like that funny. I'm pretty sure I ruined what was left of the relationship. Too long didn't read, went grocery shopping told a stranger that I was sorry he had shitty luck for marrying a large woman. Pretty sure I caused a divorce. When you said the guy was in tears I thought his marriage was so bad he started to cry about it. Later on it got worse when I realized he was actually laughing. Yeah I had to reread the two when he just said how I thought the guy was crying so hard he was howling like a wolf for wool. Followed by tears. I was at a checkout line once with my wife and she had to sneeze with her hands full. Instead of sneezing towards anyone else she turned and sneezed on me. I really don't mind or care at all, that's part of the husband job description, but without even thinking I blurted out loud that's the most action I've had all day. Cash ear lady started dying laughing. My wife was not amused, but she laughed later on. Was still dating my husband, was on our second or third date, we stopped at Valmart for some school supplies. He is a teacher and he was told to hang flat sheets on his class walls before the decorations. Weird but okay, and I said I would help set the room up. So we are in checkout and the young man checking us out was like that's a lot of sheets. And before I could process what's happening my husband said, yeah. We are really tearing through them. Poor kid was mortified. I started laughing and was a bit shocked. But the shades of red this kid turned was priceless. Well, you didn't cause a divorce. You may have acted as a catalyst and moved it along a little quicker, but you didn't cause it. You decreased the critical energy level required for a reaction to occur. In other words you saved the money on marriage counseling. One time at work a new guy was wearing one boot and one shoe in the middle of winter, it's required for work that we wear steel toe boots. I yelled across the location nice boots, asshole. And he returned with something along the lines of thanks, sometimes I just walk in circles. I continued to bug the man for probably another 30 minutes before we had to go inside for the safety meeting. The man sat down, made direct eye contact with me then popped off his prosthetic leg and continued to rub his stump while staring at me. I've never wanted to crawl under a rock and die more in my life. 